for this video, I am going to teach you how to import issues from Excel. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into your account in Jira. So if you don't have an account yet, you can just set it up. And after setting up, just log into your account. So after, again, just after logging in, what you need to do is to go to the issues that or that you want to export or import here. So for example, I have here project one, or I'm so sorry, not go into the issue, go into the project where you want to import an issue in. So I have here a first project. So this is just a simple project. So don't mind the information that I have in my project. So under your project, what you need to do is go to the issues view and if you don't have this view or this issue or you don't if you don't have issues as your option right here what you need to do is to simply click onto this plus icon and select issues from the options if you have that so now after you have access all of your issues so these are mine so on this part these are all my issues so this sample draft right here and market research and so on and on this section these are the details of my issues so now after going into here what i need to do is to click onto this Three that's icon situated on the right side part of my screen and from the drop down menu then i'll have this option that says import issues from csv so what you need to do is to simply click onto it and let it load for a few seconds and then if you already have a configuration file so if you have used this importer before you may have see saved the configuration you use so you can use that configuration to save time but if you don't have that you can just simply click onto the next or you can choose file right here oh no if i chose so i'm just going with or i'm not going with this one just going with the next or right, i'm sorry choose file i'm going to select this file right here and hit next so then what you need to do is to fill in all of your information for your issues so i'm just going to select the project where i want to put that, that issue so i'm going to project one filing code for the default this is utf8 but if you want to, to use another file code you can do so by clicking onto this downward arrow right here and select from the options that you have for the delimiter it is also default as comma but you can also use semicolon so it depends on what you are using and also for the date format if you're using another date format you can just change it on this section and if you're already satisfied with what you have hit next and then as you can see i have there all of the columns that is available in my imported file so if you don't want to involve or to include some of this file what you need to do is to simply not include them so for the assignee i'm going to assign this in the assignee column so for the assignee id i'm not going to include this one for the created and due date so i'm, go I'm going to include the due date the issue type right here the status going to hit next and i suggest before we continue importing or before you continue importing your project or your issue you need to validate or validate your file first for it to be able to see any errors or if there are any errors so I'm just going to do validate hit the validate button and let it go for a few seconds so it is processing right now and says right here three issues will be created correctly so i'm just going with this one and says right here success the validator didn't find anything wrong you can now safely begin your import and you can also download a detailed log for if you have errors or if you want to see detailed view of your imports or if there are errors again you can also save the configuration of future use if you want to do so but i'm not going to do that now so i'm going to begin the import so after a few seconds then you'll be able to have your issue available here in your click up and now you can see you should be able to see that in your issue section in jira so that's it for this video, that is how you can import issues here in Jira. So I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.